Good morning. March 28th, time for another edition of On This Date and the uh, daily search parameter. If you're new here, the way this operates is below this video, you will see a list of the genealogical events being commemorated today by the various imperial, royal, noble, and aristocratic families around the world. If you highlight that list, place your mouse cursor over the highlighted portion and do a right click, it will give you the opportunity to have the list read back to you. And in that manner, you can learn the correct pronunciations of the various royal titles and family names and so forth. The second thing on the agenda is the daily search parameter. And that's really nothing more than a fancy hashtag that I have devised that will allow you when added to as a search parameter for any search you're doing for anything public on the net anywhere will let you see what I may have posted on a specific date concerning that same subject that you're looking for. If you notice down in the lower left hand corner, I've got my name down there. And sort of tiny letters. But just being Zoom, we can go up here and we're going to change it. I'm not going to show you exactly how to change it. If you want to learn how to use Zoom, there's an entire course laid out over on my video channel that will give you the basics of doing that. But about this search parameter, it is a precisely formatted hashtag. It starts with the hashtag sign itself, the little tic-tac-toe number sign followed by my three initials, A-G-H, and that is followed by a six-digit number composed of three sets of two-digit numbers. The first two are the month, the second two are the day of the month, the third two are the year in which you are interested in something that was posted. So having done that now, I will hit the change button and you will notice that it's changed. That, what you're seeing in the lower left-hand corner is today's search parameter. Hashtag ADH032824. I use only the last two numbers of the year because I wasn't here in 1924 posting, and I probably will not be here in 2124 posting. But now, if I mute my camera, your screen will go black, and it'll show you just that search term where you can easily read it like that. As I say, combine that search term with anything else you may be searching, and if it's posted publicly to the net, Google should pull it up. So let me get back over here. Stop that. And basically, that's what these little five-minute morning videos are about. Giving you the genealogical events being commemorated that day, and or at least some of them, and the daily search parameter. I'm willing to answer any questions concerning basically anything, be it genealogy or technology or anything, with one exception. That exception being if you're asking anything about Google or a specific Google product, please go over onto the Google site to their product community forms and post it in the proper community over there. I ask that for two reasons. One, it keeps all my Google stuff that I do together so that people don't have to check on two different sites as to what I may have done. The second is because you're quite likely to get a make quicker answer over there than over here. That's because there are product experts and they're answering questions 24 hours a day. Now, you won't talk to anybody live because Google does not offer live support on their free consumer products. You go in, you type your question in, product expert comes along, comes in, says, oh, I know the answer to that, and types it in. That's it. Now, if you go over there and type, leave a question over there and want to come back here 
and leave a comment on the video or the community page and ask me to go look at it, I'll be more than happy to. But as I say, you're probably quicker to going to get a quicker answer over there because I'm only in here for like an hour a day taking care of the few comments that come in uh, and whatnot while I get this video ready. Uh, it may run an hour a day uh, that I'm here. So, you know, the odds of me, you'd wait at least 24 hours where you could probably get six answers in the same time by posting over there. I should also let you know that all replies and comments made on this channel are moderated. In other words, they are held by YouTube until I approve them to be shown to the public. If you ask a personal question on a research term that you want, particularly if you've left it over in, you know, in Google and come back and left me a note, I probably will not make that public. If you leave a public comment over here and, you know, if I write and everything, you're asking me, you know, how to do something in, in Zoom and everything, I may refer you to the lesson in one of my Zoom videos or whatnot. But we will try our best to get every answer, uh, question that you ask answered in one form or another. And with that, I'm going to close this because I like to get these out by 5 in the morning so they're at the top of your mailbox when you check in with your mail tomorrow morning or this morning, actually. So thank you for watching. We appreciate your support in the past, and we hope to see you in the future. Have a good day.